Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor, on a mission to become the world's greatest tutor. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to find the molecular formula in chemistry. This is similar to finding the empirical formula, which I talk about in another video. But with molecular formula, it can look a little bit different. So as an example, CH4 is a very common empirical formula in chemistry. However, if I multiply each of these elements by 2, I get C2H8. Or if I multiply each of them by 3, I get C3H12. And so even though if I reduce them, I get back to CH4, which again is the empirical formula, these molecular formulas are very different from each other. And depending on the problem, we can have any one of these three as our final answer. So then how do I find the molecular formula? Well, let me tell you. I'm going to explain by giving you an example. Let's say a molecular compound by mass is 85.6% carbon and 14.4% hydrogen. And I'm going to say the whole compound has a molar mass of 28.05 grams per mole. The only difference between this and an empirical formula, if this was an empirical formula, I wouldn't give you the molar mass. You would just have the percentages. But here's the easiest way to solve this question. Step one, I want you to multiply each percentage by the total molar mass. So in this case, the 28.05. So let me start with the carbon. Remember that technically 85.6 is really 0.856 as a decimal. Definitely write it as a decimal. It will be way easier. And then that is times 28.05. So that's going to get me 24.01. I don't care about the units, but this is carbon. And by the way, if you want to know how many sig figs you're supposed to round to, it honestly doesn't matter. There's going to be a lot of rounding in this problem, and sig figs do not matter for empirical or molecular formulas in general. So that's my number for carbon. For hydrogen, it's 14.4%, which is really 0.144 as a decimal, times, again, the total, 28.05. And that will get me 4.04 for hydrogen. So that's it for step one. Fantastic. And then just one more step, and we're done already. Step two, divide each number by its molar mass or atomic weight. So in other words, for carbon, 24.01. If I look at the periodic table, the molar mass of carbon is 12.01. And so when I divide that, I get 1.999, which essentially rounds to two. And so in other words, I know this compound is gonna have two carbons. Then I do the same thing for hydrogen. So that's 4.04 .04 divided by hydrogen's atomic mass is 1.01. .01. And that's going to be 4 exactly. So in other words, my answer for this compound is C2H4. And there we go. If you write it in a different order, let's say you have H4C2. I'm going to say that's okay. You probably won't lose points for the test. I don't see why you would. So either of these, I'm going to say, are correct. And so that's basically all we do. So let's do one more. For this one, I'm going to say the compound is 40 0.0% carbon by mass, 6.7% hydrogen, and 53.3% oxygen. And I'm going to say this compound has a molar mass of 180.2 grams per mole. So using that two-step process, see if you can solve this one on your own now. Pause the video and give it a try. Okay, and here's what we do. First, multiplying each of these percentages by the total 180.2. Start with carbon, 40% is really just 0.4, times 180.2, that's gonna be 72.08 for carbon. For hydrogen, 6.7% is really 0 0.067, times the 180.2, and that's gonna get us 12.07 for hydrogen. And finally, oxygen, that's 0.5, 533 times 180.2, which gives us 96.05 for oxygen. And now for each of these, I just have to divide by their individual molar masses or atomic weights. So for carbon, that's divided by 12.01. 
So if I divide that, I'll get 6.00 for carbon. If it's not exact, by the way, sometimes you get like 6.1 or 5.9. You can round that to six because it needs to be a integer whole number value. Then doing the same thing for hydrogen, that was 12.07 divided by its molar mass, 1.01. .01. That'll be 11.95, which I'm gonna round to 12, like I just said I would. And then for oxygen, 96.05 divided by 16.00. That'll get me 6.00 for oxygen. So putting it all together, we had six for carbon, 12 for hydrogen, and six for oxygen, making this my final answer. And of course, this compound plays a very special role in biology, it's glucose. And so yeah, that's all the examples I have to look at today. If you do have any questions, please post them in the comments. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, and bye-bye.